Everything that rocks, Laser 103.3. Tonight being the $40,000 rock girl pageant at the Valair Ballroom, I'd like to welcome our very special guest, the headliner of the gig, Adelita's Wear in studio here today. Guys, welcome back to Des Moines. Hello. Thank you. We've got uh, Keith, we've got Rick, and we've got Rob. I didn't screw the names up, so we're <laughs> off to a good start here. It was good. I like that. Absolutely. Guys, congratulations, first of all, on Homeschool Valedictorian. So far, you've enjoyed your first number one. Yeah. With I mean, Sick. That, that was, we couldn't even believe that. We thought there was a glitch in the Matrix. Here. <laughs> they called us up. They're like, yo, man, we just got number one. And we were like, it was our first, you know, uh, you know, our first record had some moderate success. But the second one, you know, we knew it was... It was something different. It was something special. But you know, you only dream of of actually getting it. You know, you actually you only dream of getting the number one. So we got that phone call, man. It was it was definitely a, uh, we partied pretty hard in, in Chicago to celebrate that one. I, I can imagine that whole week we were, we were meeting people. They're like, "Oh, what's your band? Oh, Adelie's White." <clears throat> By the way, we have a number one song right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll sing uh, the we, lady we at Wendy's. It for what it was worth. At for that sure. point, Everyone. you can finally look at those people and go. <laughs> I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> and then they wouldn't believe us. No, they oh. wouldn't believe us. Yeah, we, I remember we went to Guitar Center one day. No, this was for Guns N' yeah, Roses, huh? Guns N Roses, yeah. We went to Guitar Center one day, and we I... We were she laughed right in our face. I am like the, 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 the most useless person at Guitar Center, so I just stand <laughs> there. Like, my whole band is getting all this stuff. They're like, oh, we need guitar straps and all this... Oh, playing around with acoustics and stuff. And there's me just standing in the wings like... We almost ready, guys. You know, like, because I don't have anything to get in there. And there's this girl sitting there, and she just starts talking to me. She's like, "Oh, she what do you?" There. Yeah, she worked there. She's like, "What are you guys in town for?" And I was like, "Oh, we're uh, we're playing with Guns and Roses." And she was, like, and oh, she God. laughed in my face. You've got to be kidding me, really? And was like, "Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm playing with Guns and Roses." And I was like, "She thinks we're kidding," and I started laughing because it's like. No GNR is yeah. like that mythical figure yeah, these yeah. days, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. They're it's not like even real. With, yeah, we play with the Yeti, you know. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, like and and no, yeah, we we did, you know, we did a small tour of Guns and Roses, and 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 she didn't she didn't believe us. So, lady at Guitar Center, yeah, I know you don't hear this. <laughs> <laughs> but we played with Guns N' Roses. Uh, Homeschool Valedictorian is your second album. Your first just came out a couple of years ago, so really it's been nonstop for you guys between writing an album, touring, writing an album, and now touring again. We better get used to that because that's what's coming. You know, yeah. that's that's uh, that's our lives, man. You know, we I hope to tour this record for another year or two, and we've already started uh, putting together album number three. So, wow. Yeah, and it's it's and I'll tell you this, you know what we've what we've got. You know, every time we start making another record, there's always something that excites me, and 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 sick was what excited me on the last one, and alive, and on this one, I'm telling you guys, we've already got a start to something great on the third one. Uh, you bring up a good point, actually, which uh, segues into what I want to ask you about. Um, you know the dreaded sophomore slump uh bands come out with great debut albums because as the saying goes you have had your whole career to write that debut album how have you guys managed to you know sidestep that pitfall for this next album and really uh, written something that people have grabbed a, a pretty tight hold on i feel like we've gotten better as a band you know our first album i don't feel like we had a we had a lifetime to write it you know but it, it was it was one of those situations where you, you know you don't you don't know how to, how to really how to really do it you know you just kind of write and, and hope it all goes well you know now i think our our band we've just played so many shows we've lived together we we know each other we we gel together a lot better and uh that's why our stuff's getting better and not worse you know and and i feel you know i i feel like the second record we we stepped it up a lot from the first record and and again like we've already started sitting down and jamming on a third record and 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 uh, the vibe is there, man. It's just, it's just, we're getting better. We're getting better as a band. That's fantastic, guys. You, uh, you brought the music in today, the instruments. So we're gonna hear some music. What, what do you want to play first for us? We are gonna play the first single of Homeschool Valedictorian. This song is called Sick. All right, take it away. <clears throat> Maybe it's sick of you and the way you look, all the things you do. You drive me crazy, drive me crazy. Sick of being broken, paid for it. I'm about to snap, handle this. I'm going crazy, going crazy, going crazy. If you're sick like me. Down. 
of my life It's the same old trip, try to make it bend Never gives, look what you made me What you made me I hate my boss, he's a little bitch Keeps it up, make him quit or I'll go crazy I'm going crazy if you're sick like me, there's no stopping now You gotta break it up and just let it out If I was sick like you, I would feed the fire I would light it up and watch it all come down And watch it all come down You're me being sick of you and the way you look, all the things you do. You drive me crazy, drive me crazy. If you're sick like me, there's no stopping now. Gotta break it up and just let it out. If I was sick like you. Watch it all go